Before I get started, I just wanted to point out how close a disaster I got trying to break a record to be the fastest radio flyer wagon on earth. Let me explain. The great Lewis Weiss recently bolted a small jet engine to the bottom of a radio flyer wagon and set a new land speed record at 45 miles an hour. Just crazy. But here's the thing, I really wanna try to break this record, uh, but financially speaking, jet engines are just not an option for me. So uh, I've got an idea to go in a different direction, uh, not a safer direction, just different. The rules are pretty straightforward. You can't take anything away, only add. Meaning this thin sheet metal body has to stay. These axles have to stay. These plastic bushings that are holding the wheel to the axle as a bearing have to stay. Lewis has education, sponsors, intelligence, general know-how, but I have the benefit of going second. And that might just be enough. Let me explain my idea a little bit. I'm gonna have this mounted to the back. It'll hinge. I'm gonna be using a wheel to turn this wheel. The engine will drive that one. Before I can break the record, I need to learn a few things, namely welding. Luckily, my friend Justin from the Good of the Land YouTube channel is an excellent welder and offered to teach me. Tack there, and then put a tack here. Perfect, man. What? I think that's it, dude. I like that. And with that mastered, I figured I could do the rest on my own. This is so thick. We won't be doing any close-ups on the weld. So I've changed up my design plan a little bit. I ordered a bunch of the wrong stuff and I don't have money to order new stuff. I'm going to take one of my go-kart wheels, which I already own. So we'll have one single wheel down here. Engine will go here and then that will drive. Now this may not sound like a great idea and admittedly it's my second idea, but I will have more contact with the ground with this one tire than all four of these wheels combined. I have made something. It's so hideous, but it's it's my hideous. You guys with engineering degrees are probably gonna hate this, but I don't have any tools to make a keyway, so we're doing it by hand with an angle grinder. So I thought I would paint it to, you know, just cover up one or two of the welds that were not so pretty. I mean, come on, that's a pretty good match. It's gonna be a red bolt of lightning going down the road. I know it's screwing up the threads. <laughs> it's time for the first test on what I'm affectionately calling radio speed wagon. So I wanna make sure everything's aligned. I wanna make sure that everything's tight and not gonna fall apart. All things, you know, important to continue living. I don't, I don't like that. Just did 26, uh, feeling amazing. I mentioned the fact that I'm scared that there is zero caster in these wheels. I adjusted my shoulders and it wanted to like launch off to the left. I'm excited and so scared at the same time. This little support bar was bent up. There's nothing really bracing it and it's fatiguing the metal. So I think I'm gonna put some sort of support from there to there. Other than that, I think we're ready to go. For now, it's just gonna be a final place to do this. In Tulsa. This is the Tulsa Raceway Park, and they generously are opening their doors to us to try to break this record at their amazing facility on their almost one mile long track. I'm gonna be breaking with my feet. And kind of reason I wanted to check this out today. And if it's this rubbery stuff, I can't do that. It'll, it'll just snap my ankles. Right then we met some of the track staff who told me that we were actually only gonna be allowed to use the last 1,000 feet of track. This? Yeah, like this we'd have to watch out for because that's wider than the wheel. I'm doing this a lot because I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's weird being excited and scared at the same time. It's a weird feeling. I'm excited, but also I'm very aware that the consequences are real. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's a very nervous laugh. I mean, you saying that you're nervous is making me nervous, Chris. This is all you, buddy. I'm just holding the this camera. Right. Track owners haven't showed up yet. They told me yesterday that if it's safe, I can do this in the rain. It has to be their call. My brain's stuck in that part where you're like, I drove all this way, spent all this money, I just kind of like want to go ahead and do it, or do I stay mature and say, this isn't worth getting hurt over? And Brad's going to do a feed test. Jeez, how fast was that? Are you sure your speedometer is accurate? So, radar's showing that the rain should stop in like 15 minutes. Let's get ready. Just do it. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Not trying to sound dramatic, but this really was the only chance that we had to do this. The track had an event coming up and I had to get home. So with standing water still on the track, we pulled the wagon out, bolted it together, signed our waiver, met the EMT. And it wasn't until I rewatched this footage that I realized just how nervous I was. It would have been very nice to have something break up the tension. <laughs> That's not an omen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 43. Dude, that was epic. It's good, no, I was able to feel it because it is sketchy. <laughs> it is I think you freaking got this, dude. Like, I, I think this runs the one. I'm just scared. Yeah. I am scared to death. <laughs> are, are you hitting the limit? No, no, I'm not even close to the limit. It's not a lack of power, it's a lack of nerve. Right. You freaking did it, Chris. I'm kind you of... freaking did it, Chris. How does this compare to the usual guys you have out here? Top fuel versus radio flyer. <laughs> <laughs> it's very entertaining. <laughs> okay. Thank you so you much. You betcha, buddy. Thank you so much for letting us come out. You're so in this moment, I was really happy. Almost two months of work, I had broken the record, but breaking it by just one mile an hour was not as strong of a showing as I hope I could make. So with 15 minutes before we had to leave, we decided to go back to the start, crank it up, and send it one more time. How fast was it going? 48. 48! 48! 40! 48! Wow. Oh my <laughs> gosh! We're definitely done. You're, you're done? Done. We're definitely done. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, guys. What? Look at the wheel. Chris! God dang it! <laughs> I'd say we're at the limit. So I missed the last part when you went into the ditch. 
<laughs> Things said 46, and I felt stable. And I thought, I think there's enough room to stop, so I just, I just kind of goosed it just a little bit more. So, long story short, I gave up braking here. Thank goodness for sand traps. <laughs> For some people, this might have been a weekend project, but for someone like me, this was a huge undertaking. And I couldn't have done it without a lot of people helping me along the way. First of all, the Tulsa Raceway Park for your generosity and hospitality. Justin from the Good of the Land YouTube channel for teaching me how to weld. Eric Roberts for letting me use your welder and your shop to build this project. Chris Hope, my one and only Patreon supporter. You are a legend and I thank you so much for your support. And Brad for giving me feedback every step of the way, keeping me motivated and getting me to the finish line. You're amazing. What you got? What you got on over there, Chris? What you got? This one. Oh, we do have some merch. That I don't really ever talk about. I do have a Patreon. I don't really ever talk about. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Hey, get lit, buddy.